What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. <clears throat> Today I'm here with my son, Evan. Evan, what's up? Say hi. Hi. Yeah, he's mad that he can't play video games right now. But we're at a swap meet at Indie RC World here at Garland, Texas. Last time I did this, I got some pretty good deals. So I'm hoping to find some good stuff. I am looking for some stuff. I'm looking for, I really need some RTR remotes like the T Traxxas TQ radios, 2.4 TQ radios, uh, because of those three kits or those three cars that I just bought, I would like to be able to put radios on them. I don't want to just run a, you know, my race radio on them. So that's what I'm looking for, but I'm, I'm open to anything. So I stopped by the ATM. We got some cash and let's see if we can make some deals. Guys, no joke. The very first table I went to got, them. <laughs> I got them. We got exactly what we needed. So now the mission's accomplished. Can you open that Evan? Mission's accomplished. We just have to uh, see what else we can get. What's going on, Mark? What's up, bud? How right. you doing? Good, man. How are you? Look at that. You're talented, bro. Dude, you see that? Cross, cross arm the, and everything. Got the game. I'm going to let Peter walk us through the, the swap meet. So you, you walk us through everything that's going on in here. Well, so far what, we're what lucky. You think the, weather, is here? the weather's awesome. We got a little breeze going on today. Um, I'm glad I didn't bring too much cash because there are some smoking good deals. Well, let's go look around, dude. Show us first, around. First, you got to check this. You got to check the sand rail out first. The sand rail. This is a Traxxas 4x4 slash converted to a sand rail. It's got the Proline sand paws on this thing. It has the, I don't know who made the cage, but it's got the cage on there. Like that, I mean, that, that, that's cool. That is super cool. That is cool. Uh, I, like, I was digging that Grave Digger body. I'm looking for the Traxxas one. Yeah, that's, is that not a Traxxas Grave Digger body? I think it's a Parma. Okay. I don't know, that thing looks pretty sweet. You got deals on batteries, ESCs. Everything we just started. All right, sorry guys, I had to, I had to switch the mic around because I know y'all couldn't hear me. Hear me, but that uh, grave digger body. If you if if you can ever find those grave digger bodies, I'll show you again. The real Traxxas one. The real Traxxas grave digger bodies. If you can ever find them, they're worth about maybe 200 to 250 on eBay. So try to find them. Anyways, let's go back to Peter. What do we got here, Peter? A couple race cars. You got some Mugen, some Losi, some Agama, and I think there's. Been sold as rollers. Um, I know this is like there an you SV. There go, SV. You need tools. Everybody needs an F1 car. Everyone needs an F1 car. Uh, dude, that's a B64. Those ESCs are still going for 200 bucks. He wants two, what? 275 for the whole thing. So that's a pretty smoking deal. A couple helicopters. Oh, look at the, look at the. Uh, dude, the go karts. The old go kart. That? That's that's banana throwback right there. Looks like a RX8. Yep. Got one left. Did you start it with two? How much are those going for, Tim? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. For a That's not bad at all. And then I'm not about the plane stuff. You Look at an ammo stuff. can. All right, let's see what else we got. We got brand new speed on some fresh stuff. I mean, this is <laughs> this is a 2103. This is another 2103. You got nice new shiny pipes. There's a 2090. Lots of tools. Dude, here's some good club racing motor action right there. That's a spec two. Uh, a couple of truggies. Looks like Agama, Agama, Techno buggies. There got you some go. Fuel. Hey, by the way, Mark. What? The Mini 500. Oh yeah, is that that's the one we need? Is it going down? Don't you have one? No, I don't have one. You don't have one. So Roy Swafford is selling this thing, the Jägermeister Mini. The Mini 500. This thing is already outfitted with a proper 2S LiPo, the right oh, let me, size. Let me switch sides so you can be in front of the mic. Oops, All right, sorry. go ahead. It's already got the uh, the proper size LiPo on there. Uh, it's already got receiver. It's got a Tekken BXR ESC in there. So, I mean, this is this might be a contender, Mark. We might have to go halfers on this. <laughs> Do we, is that what we need? Well, I mean, we're going to run it, right? We are going to run it. Okay. All right. Do we want to do a deal on camera right now? Do we want to do a deal on camera right now? Whose is it, first off? Roy Swafford. Let's go look around first, then we'll do a deal on camera here in a little bit. All right. Because I got to I gotta position the mic so we get negotiation from both sides. Okay. All right, we might we might have to do that. I got cash burning a hole in my pocket. Now, I, I got so. cash burning a hole in my pocket, okay. too. All right. That's a dangerous situation That to is be a in. super dangerous situation. There's look, we even got stuff. an air compressor. There's an air compressor. Dude, talk about hardware box. You need parts boxes? Parts boxes. Dude, parts boxes for days. Parts boxes for days. Pretty red. I mean, just a bunch Look, of Look, there's a train there's set train down stuff. here. Never too early to get your train for the Christmas tree. 
Never too early to get trained for a Christmas tree. You heard him. This guy's this guy's a mobile. A mobile, a mobile, <laughs> a mobile selling station. Dude, there's some cool stuff. There's an engine over there. There's all kinds of stuff. Like an actual engine? Hung a model of a V8. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man. Model V8 engine over there. Hung's over here with everything from a UDR to some Latrax Tetons. Yep. This one. <laughs> Starter box. What is this thing? It's bowling, man. It's before your time. Man, the Rios, the Rios would love that. They'd be all about that. That is crazy. Got some crawler stuff. Crawler stuff. There's more. Dude, look at this, Mark. Oh, look. Fifteen bucks. Peter, Fifteen bucks. See some money. I, I have. Me and Mark are maybe gonna we're, have to yeah, do a negotiation on that on that mini. Well, whatever you like, man. <laughs> it's getting crazy over here, guys. Fifteen, 15 bucks. bucks for that tackle box. That is crazy deal. Some thirty-five hundreds. I don't know how much those are going for, but. Which sides again, Peter? Big boards. That would be the big boards, wouldn't it? He's selling yeah, they look like a bunch of X-ray. Shocks. Any X-ray guys out there need to come up on that deal for sure. You got VX4 some R Pro? Yeah. With the case? Heck yeah. That, there's a 15 right there. X-ray. That's a good car. Truggy body. Dan, what is this there's hoodie bag going for today? Hoodie bag. The more you buy, the cheaper everything is. The more you buy, the cheaper it is. He's got fuel in here. This guy's got the, a whole bunch of stuff on his table. A brand new 21 VG. Brand new 21 VG. Orion R10.1 Pro. I don't even run the point one Pro. Look at that. He's selling his wallet. That's for sale. Everything. The more you buy, the less it is. I was just joking. Oh. Oh, oh man. That's, that's a pretty thick scale That's a pretty right scale. That's, that's pretty pimp. Clean. <laughs> that's actually pretty pimp. <laughs> There's a TTO one over there. Really fast. Modified. Is that 20. a baby truggy I see? There's a baby truggy over there. Baby truggy for sale. I don't know why he's selling that. So that's the second body up Why are you selling that, dude? Big truck. Baby truggy's fun. What pipe is this? This is probably... I think it's an old 53. It's got a whole bunch of pipes. An associated buggy. Let's go look at this. Uh, I got to give the techno love here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that thing's set up. What do you got? You got a 5.5 red line in that there. That thing's legit, dude. You got an Orion ESC. It's got carbon fiber parts on it. Transpon. That thing's ready to go. What is this thing going for today? Uh, again. I want to get rid of it for about five with the parts, tires, batteries. This will be ready to go. Five hundred with parts, tires, ready to go. That's a smoking deal. You got charge leads. Oh yeah, you sure do got charge leads. Like you can get virtually everything that you're looking for. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh wait, here's a new a new table. So we got to go check out. Oh, it's a new crawler table. A whole table getting set up. Mini grave digger. That one's cool. I bet you that one. Uh, that one also might be able to pull some something on eBay, I don't know. I bet you. <laughs> I bet you it can. I bet you. Got some stuff in there. So this is a new table, so I haven't seen, oh look, it's motorcycles. We got motorcycles. Bunch of crawlers. Oh my goodness, a model V8 engine. He wasn't joking. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's super. It's got to be super. Oh, wow. Got more crawler stuff. Well, the surprises—the right. surprises keep coming, Mark. Check this out. What is, this is fifth scale on road here. Yeah. What what model are these? That's FG, I believe. I'm yeah. Not sure what it is. That's the F. Well, I say I'm gonna use on the second owner. It's never been ran. It hasn't even had a connector soldered on it. That's yet. what they—that's what they run out in Rendon, though. Really? Yeah. FGs. Got some crawlers. That engine is awesome, dude. Dragsters. That looks operational, Mark. It looks, it looks operational. It's got fuel lines and everything to it. More crawlers. These are like comp crawlers. These are a little different than like scale crawlers. What do they call that one down there, Peter? The 
it's not the DBXL. Maybe it is the DBXL. All right. All right, guys. We did good. We did really good. Oh, there it's still going on over there. There's more people. A lot of a lot of like uh, guys that are selling their projects and things like that. You get a wide range of what people are selling. A lot of people sell stuff like on the super high range. Like seriously, go ahead, you come in, bud. Sorry, my son's getting in the car. He went through some trash out. He's a good boy. Anyways, you got a lot of people um, trying to sell stuff on the high range. And those are the guys that I guess they take a lot of pride in their stuff, which there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe they can sell for the high range. I try to find the good deals. So what I ended up getting, I ended up getting two Traxxas TQ, TQI Bluetooth enabled remotes, which is, that's actually what I was looking for. I was looking for some RTR remotes. Uh, transmitter receivers, I bought two of them for 20 bucks. Transmitter receivers, 20 bucks. That's actually really good because on eBay, you can pretty much get them for a 35, I mean, you can sell them for 35, $40, $40 all day on eBay, which I'm not selling these. I actually need them, but I'm really happy with that. But I did get the deal of, I think, the deal of the entire swap meet. And all my racing buddies will know that this was a good deal. Check this out. Yeah, I got four brand, not brand new, but they're the new MyLapse transponders. Two two wire, two three wire. And you guys will not believe what I got them for. I saw a guy selling them, he had three of them out there. He was pulling another one out. I was like, I'll just take all four of them. And I started wheeling and dealing. I got all four of them for 160 bucks. Yeah. I, I that I've, that's the deal of the century because these don't go down in value. I know for sure I can get I can get money for them. I am actually going to use these though because my boys are starting to race. I'm racing a lot more classes, so I need them. But all four of them for 160 bucks. So I spent about 170 today. I ended up getting some parts inside. Whenever I was showing you guys that Traxxas T Max that I was that I got on that that deal that I bought the other day. I was looking at it and I noticed the front bulkhead, which I just talked about how, or I haven't talked about that. Maybe I have or not, but the bulkhead is like the worst part to change on T-Max. I saw that the front bulkhead was broken, so I know I knew I needed that. So I went in the shop about that, but good day so far. Really good day. I'm going to end this vlog, but I'm actually going to be going out to Hobby Town right after this because I need to find some Fortec parts. So if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.